Quake. Holy crap, this game was the shit. The best way to play this game was on the PC, and everyone knows why. Better graphics, online play, mods, funny skins, this game had it all. If you don't know what I'm talking about, the mods that you're still playing today, for example, Team Fortress on the Orange Box, started on Quake. The skins were amazing because it let anyone design their character. They had everything from Homer Simpson to weird, freaky things. They even had naked chicks. This first person shooter was one of the first to have online play instead of just LAN, and one of the first that people considered an electronic sport, aka the start of pro gaming. Quake had a cool soundtrack and sound effects that were from Trent Reznor from the Nine Inch Nails. And they did show that off in game from the nail gun ammo that had the NIN logo on it. You know what time it is. And some Tom's useless knowledge! The name Quake actually came from Commander Keen. Anyone remember that guy? He was cool. Anyway, they had a sequel for Commander Keen called The Fight for Justice. It featured a character named Quake, and he was the strongest, most dangerous character on the planet, armed with a ring of regeneration just like Quake. Unfortunately, the fight for justice was never released. The multiplayer was incredible. Did I say that already? There were so many cool things about playing Quake Online. For example, at the time, there were always new levels to play because of the large amount of fan-based creations. And there were small in-game things that made the competition fun and fast-paced. Some of that stuff required some experience to pull off, like bunny hopping or stripe jumping, and my personal favorite, rocket jumping. The single player was fun, searching for runes, large boss fights. Yeah, I know the storyline was lame. Experiment teleportation went wrong, done a million times, but sometimes that's not why you play games. When I'm talking about Quake, how can I not mention QuakeCon in Dallas? It started so Quake fans could kick each other's ass without any lag, obviously during dial-up times, but regardless, the convention is still going strong. And you could count on Screw Attack being there, humping people with Ninja Turtle outfits. As cool as Quake 1 is, it's not my favorite of the series. But that doesn't mean I don't want to see it on Xbox Live with some sweet mods added to it. Someone call John Carmack and make that happen. Thank <laughs> you.